Join Kids Storyland family. Once upon a time in a garden, there were two pals, Percy the peacock and Danny the dog. Percy was a colorful bird with beautiful feathers, and Danny was a playful brown dog. Percy loved to flaunt his vibrant feathers and dance around, while Danny enjoyed running after butterflies and playing fetch. One sunny day, they met by a shiny pond. They greeted each other happily and decided to explore together. Percy showed Danny his colorful feathers, and Danny showed Percy how fast he could run. They realized they could help each other. Percy wanted to see the garden from high up, so Danny gave him a lift on his back to the top of a tall tree. Percy enjoyed the view, seeing the garden spread out below. Then, Percy helped Danny find shiny rocks and colorful flowers by reflecting sunlight with his feathers. Their friendship became stronger as they shared adventures, laughing and having fun together. They proved that even though they were different, they made perfect pals, learning from each other and having a blast every day in the garden. If like this video please like and subscribe my channel. Join Kids Storyland family. Once upon a time. There was a smart fox named Felix and a long-beaked stork. Felix liked to play clever tricks, and one day, he invited Stork over for a meal. When Stork arrived at Felix's den, he saw a plate full of yummy food. But the plate was flat and wide, and Stork couldn't eat from it because of his long beak. He tried, but the food kept slipping away. Stork felt sad and told Felix, this plate doesn't work for me. I can't enjoy the meal. Felix pretended not to know and said, Oops. Sorry, Stork. Next time, I'll choose something better. But Stork wanted to teach Felix a lesson. So, he invited Felix to his home and served hot soup in a tall, narrow vase. Felix tried to reach the soup with his snout, but the vase was too slim. He couldn't get any soup. Stork smiled and said, Just like your plate didn't work for me, this vase doesn't work for you. We need to think about what works for our friends. Felix understood. From that day on, he became a better friend, thinking about what his friends needed. The clever fox had learned an important lesson about being kind and thinking about others. And so, Felix and Stork became even better friends in the Enchanted Forest. Join Kids Storyland family! Once there was a little squirrel named Sammy who lived in a big forest. Sammy loved to explore and play all day. One morning, he heard about a special tree with yummy nuts hidden deep in the forest. Excited, Sammy packed a bag with nuts and set off to find this tree. Along the way, he met his friends Timmy the rabbit and Lila the bluebird. They wanted to join Sammy's adventure. They walked through the forest, seeing tall trees and pretty flowers. They faced some tricky parts, like crossing a log bridge and finding their way through bushes, but they helped each other. Finally, they found a tree covered in golden, sparkling nuts. But before they could eat them, a wise owl appeared and said, those nuts are magical. Share them with others, and you'll see their true magic. Sammy and his friends listened and shared the nuts with all the animals in the forest. They saw something amazing happen, the animals became really happy. From that day, Sammy, Timmy, and Lila learned that sharing and helping others is magical. They continued exploring the forest, making new friends, and sharing happiness wherever they went. And so, Sammy and his friends had many more adventures, always remembering that being kind makes everyone happy. If like this video plaza like and subscribe my channel. Join Kids Storyland Family Once upon a time, in a happy school, there was a new class teacher named Miss Johnson. The children were a bit shy at first, but Miss Johnson had a big smile that made them feel comfortable. Miss Johnson liked to tell funny stories and play games. She made learning fun and exciting. Math and science became like cool games, not boring stuff. One day, Miss Johnson surprised everyone with a fun art project. Each child made their own special artwork and the classroom looked like a rainbow of colors. Miss Johnson gave shiny stars for good things. 
the kids felt proud when their star sparkled on the wall. With Miss Johnson, every day was like an adventure. School became a happy place where they learned cool things and had lots of fun. The children loved their new class teacher and couldn't wait to see what fun things she had for them each day. And so, the school days were filled with smiles, laughter, and the joy of learning new things. The moral of the story is that a positive and caring teacher can make learning exciting and enjoyable. When a teacher is kind, creative, and supportive, students feel happy to come to school, learn new things, and express themselves. The story teaches us the importance of creating a positive and engaging learning environment, where both education and personal growth thrive. If like this video please like and subscribe my channel. Join Kids Storyland Family. Once upon a time, in a lively forest, there was a cheerful crow named Oliver. Oliver loved meeting new friends and playing with other animals. He had buddies like Mia the mouse, Tommy the dog, and Rosie the cat. One sunny day, Oliver had an exciting idea. Let's organize a treasure hunt in the forest. We can explore, solve clues, and discover hidden surprises. With enthusiasm, Mia, Tommy, and Rosie agreed. They all joined forces to prepare for the treasure hunt. Mia made clever clues, Tommy found a perfect hiding spot for the treasure, and Rosie brought delicious berries for everyone to enjoy. On the day of the treasure hunt, the forest was buzzing with anticipation. Oliver and his friends set off, following Mia's clever clues. They laughed, ran, and worked together to solve each puzzle. After a series of joyful adventures, they finally reached the hidden treasure spot. To their surprise, the treasure was a box filled with friendship bracelets. Each friend received a special bracelet, symbolizing their unique bond. With big smiles on their faces, Oliver, Mia, Tommy, and Rosie sat down to enjoy the tasty berries and share stories of their treasure hunt. The forest echoed with the sounds of joy and laughter. That evening, as the sun began to set, Oliver and his friends gathered around a cozy campfire. They decided to have more fun activities and create more memories together, making the forest an even happier and livelier place. And so, in the heart of the lively forest, Oliver the Crow and his friends Mia, Tommy, and Rosie continued to have delightful adventures, celebrating their friendship and making every day a new and exciting journey. If like this video please like and subscribe my channel. Join Kids Storyland Family Once upon a time, there was a smart fox named Felix and a long-beaked stork. Felix liked to play clever tricks, and one day, he invited Stork over for a meal. When Stork arrived at Felix's den, he saw a plate full of yummy food. But the plate was flat and wide, and Stork couldn't eat from it because of his long beak. He tried, but the food kept slipping away. Stork felt sad and told Felix, this plate doesn't work for me. I can't enjoy the meal. Felix pretended not to know and said, Oops. Sorry, Stork. Next time, I'll choose something better. But Stork wanted to teach Felix a lesson. So, he invited Felix to his home and served hot soup in a tall, narrow vase. Felix tried to reach the soup with his snout, but the vase was too slim. He couldn't get any soup. Stork smiled and said, Just like your plate didn't work for me, this vase doesn't work for you. We need to think about what works for our friends. Felix understood. From that day on, he became a better friend, thinking about what his friends needed. The clever fox had learned an important lesson about being kind and thinking about others. And so, Felix and Stork became even better friends in the Enchanted Forest. Join Kids Storyland Family Once upon a time, in a lively jungle, there was a greedy snake named Sly and a bunch of chatty parrots. Sly loved to eat, especially tasty fruits. One sunny day, Sly spotted a tree with the juiciest fruits. He slithered over, eyes gleaming with greed. Polly, the friendliest parrot, spoke up, Hey Sly, those fruits are for everyone. But Sly hissed, No way. These are mine. Find your own food. 
The parrots were sad but didn't give up. They decided to teach Sly a lesson about sharing. They gathered and sang, sharing is caring, Sly, oh Sly, come join us, give it a try. Sly ignored them and kept eating. So, the next day, the parrots found an even better fruit spot. They invited Sly, saying, Sly, let's enjoy these together. Excited, Sly agreed. As they feasted, the parrots chatted and shared stories. Sly felt a warmth in his heart. He realized sharing brought joy and friendship. From then on, Sly became less greedy. The jungle echoed with laughter and chatter, a happy place where friends shared not just fruits but also the joy of being together. If like this video please like and subscribe my channel. Chicks and Hen Once upon a time, on a beautiful farm, there lived a mother hen named Henrietta and her three little chicks, Daisy, Rosie, and Billy. They were a happy family who loved to explore the farm together. Every day, Henrietta would wake up early and cluck loudly to wake up her little chicks. They would all gather around her as she taught them important lessons about life on the farm. One sunny morning, Henrietta told her chicks that it was time for them to learn how to find their own food. She explained that they needed to scratch the ground with their feet to uncover tasty worms and insects. Excited and eager to learn, the little chicks followed their mother around the farm. Daisy went first and scratched the ground, but she only found a tiny worm. Rosie tried next, and with a bit more determination, she found a big juicy worm. The little chicks cheered for Rosie, and Henrietta told her how proud she was. Finally, it was Billy's turn. He was a bit nervous because he hadn't found any worms yet. But he remembered what his mother had said about not giving up. With newfound confidence, Billy scratched the ground with all his might. And guess what he found? A big, wiggly earthworm that made everyone cheer with joy. As they explored the farm, the little chicks discovered new things every day. They met friendly cows, playful sheep, and even a mischievous cat. With their mother's guidance and love, Daisy, Rosie, and Billy grew up to be strong and confident chickens. And so, the story of the little chicks and their loving hen, Henrietta, spread throughout the farm, inspiring other animals to work together, learn, and grow. Elephant and the Tailor In a lively jungle, there lived a friendly and gentle elephant named Ella. Ella had a kind heart and was loved by all the animals in the forest. One day, as she strolled through the jungle, she noticed a new addition to the forest, a tiny tailor shop run by a skilled tailor named Timmy. Ella was curious and decided to pay Timmy a visit. As she entered the shop, she noticed Timmy meticulously stitching together a beautiful red coat for a parrot. Impressed by Timmy's craftsmanship, Ella greeted him with a warm smile. Hello there. I'm Ella, the elephant. Your shop looks lovely, and your tailoring skills are incredible, she complimented. Timmy looked up and smiled back. Thank you, Ella. I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Timmy, the tailor. How may I assist you today? I was wondering if you could help me with a favor, Ella replied. You see, I accidentally tore a part of my favorite flower patterned blanket. Can you fix it for me, Timmy? Timmy gladly agreed to help. Ella handed him the blanket, and he began working on it with utmost care. 
While he sewed, Ella told him stories about her adventures in the jungle and the interesting animals she had met. After a little while, Timmy handed back the blanket to Ella, looking satisfied with his work. There you go, Ella. Your flower-patterned blanket is as good as new, he said with a grin. Ella was thrilled with the repair and thanked Timmy warmly. You are a fantastic tailor, Timmy, and a great friend. I'm so grateful for your help, she said. As Ella left the shop, she couldn't help but notice that Timmy's roof seemed a little worn out. Rainwater was leaking through a hole, and the tailor was constantly having to move his workbench to avoid getting wet. Ella knew she could help, and an idea popped into her head. The next day, when the rain clouds gathered in the sky, Ella made her way to Timmy's shop. She filled her trunk with water and playfully splashed it on the roof, covering the hole and preventing rainwater from leaking inside. Timmy was puzzled at first, but when he realized what Ella had done, he couldn't help but smile. Ella, you clever elephant. You fixed my leaky roof. Thank you, he exclaimed. Ella chuckled and replied, consider it a tit for tat, Timmy. You helped me with my blanket, so I wanted to help you with your roof. From that day on, Ella and Timmy became wonderful friends. Whenever Ella needed a repair or Timmy needed help with something, they were always there for each other. Their acts of kindness and tit-for-tat approach strengthened their bond and brought joy to the jungle. Moral tit-for-tat Bee and Little Girl Once upon a time, in a colorful meadow, there lived a happy little bee named Buzz. Buzz was always cheerful and loved to explore the world around her. She flew from flower to flower, collecting nectar to make delicious honey. But unlike other bees, Buzz also loved to play and make new friends. One sunny morning, as Buzz was buzzing around the meadow, she spotted a little girl named Lily. Lily was sitting under a tall oak tree, looking sad. Join Kids Storyland Family. Once upon a time, there were two silly goats named Gruff and Tough. They lived on opposite sides of a deep, fast-flowing river. To get to the lush, green meadow on the other side, they had to cross a narrow bridge. One day, Gruff decided to cross the bridge and enjoy the delicious grass on the other side. As he started to walk across, he was stopped by Tuff, who was also eager to get to the meadow. I want to cross the bridge first, said Tuff. Gruff replied, no, I was here first, and I'm going to cross before you. They argued and butted heads for a while, but neither goat was willing to back down. They met in the middle of the bridge, which was so narrow that they could not pass each other. Now they were fighting because both of wanted to be the first one to cross the bridge. While they were arguing, the bridge started to sway back and forth, and it soon became clear that it couldn't support the weight of both goats at once. They fell into the water and drowned to death. Moral Foolishness will be always punished. If like this video please like and subscribe my channel. Bee and Little Girl Once upon a time, in a colorful meadow, there lived a happy little bee named Buzz. Buzz was always cheerful and loved to explore the world around her. She flew from flower to flower, collecting nectar to make delicious honey. But unlike other bees, Buzz also loved to play and make new friends. One sunny morning, as Buzz was buzzing around the meadow, she spotted a little girl named Lily. 
Lily was sitting under a tall oak tree, looking sad. Curious, Buzz flew closer to see what was bothering her. Why are you sad, little girl? Buzz asked with a soft buzz. Lily looked up, surprised to see a talking bee. I lost my favorite doll, she said, tears welling up in her eyes. I can't find her anywhere. Buzz felt sad for Lily, and without thinking twice, she said, Don't worry, Lily. I will help you find your doll. With renewed hope, Lily smiled at the kind bee. Really? That would be amazing. Buzz flew high and low, searching every corner of the meadow. She asked the other insects if they had seen Lily's doll, but no one had. Buzz didn't give up and continued her search. Finally, she spotted the doll hidden under a large leaf. I found your doll! Buzz exclaimed, picking it up with her tiny legs. Lily's eyes lit up with joy. Thank you, Buzz. You're the best befriend I could ever ask for. From that day on, Buzz and Lily became the best of friends. They would spend their days playing in the meadow, laughing, and sharing stories. Buzz would tell Lily about her bee adventures, and Lily would tell Buzz about her dreams and wishes. As time passed, the meadow became an even more magical place because of their friendship. The flowers seemed to bloom brighter, and the sweet scent of honey filled the air. Everyone in the meadow loved seeing the happy bee and the little girl together, showing that even the most unlikely friendships could bring so much joy. And so, Buzz the happy bee and Lily the little girl lived happily ever after, spreading happiness and love wherever they went. Join Kids Storyland family. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Humpty who liked to take it easy. He didn't rush around like the other kids. He was called Lazy Humpty because he loved to relax. Humpty was a happy boy with a round tummy and always a big smile. He liked sitting under a huge tree. He'd look at the clouds and see shapes like animals and castles. While other kids played and ran, Humpty enjoyed simple things. He liked listening to birds, feeling the wind, and looking at pretty flowers. Even though he was called Lazy Humpty, he was kind and ready to help others. If someone needed a friend or help with chores, Humpty was there with a smile. One day, there was a big village festival. Everyone was busy getting ready. But Humpty stayed relaxed under his tree. At the festival, there was a problem with decorations and performers. Humpty may have been relaxed, but he knew how to help. He fixed the decorations and calmed the performers with his easygoing nature. People saw how helpful and calm Humpty was. They learned that being relaxed isn't always a bad thing. They are slow learn. Taking rest is good for health. The festival turned out great. From that day, Humpty wasn't called lazy anymore. Everyone admired him for his relaxed ways. He showed them it's okay to enjoy simple things and take life easy. And so, Humpty stayed happy, teaching others to enjoy life's little moments. Everyone in the village learned to take it easy and find joy in simple things. If like this video please like and subscribe my channel. Bye.